hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well and you enjoyed my last video if this is the first time you're seeing me on this channel my name is jessica i hope you stick around till the end and also subscribe if you like but yeah it will be great for you to subscribe please subscribe it'll help my channel and thank you if you have subscribed already so in today's video i'll be using all black owned african brands I think they are all owned by women. Yes, they are. Mainly Ghanaian and Nigerian brands. So let's just get into this. I'm excited. So um, I've already prepped my skin. I'm just going to go ahead and dip into the foundation. So I'll be using the brand So Aesthetics. Um, they are a Ghanaian brand. I have these three shades with me. So I have these three shades. I have my shade, I have a lighter shade, and then I have a darker shade. So I'll be using these three to highlight, contour, and also as my foundation shades. So the first shade I'll be using is number eight, and that is Okine Bia. Ooh, I just spilled on my, my dress. Oh shoot okay and taking this kabuki brush from evita joseph which is also a ghanian brand i'm just going to dab the product on there and then just staple it on my face this shade is my perfect shade it blends nicely into my skin i've already tried this before so I know how it works. The foundation consistency is quite thick. It's full coverage. It can be shared out depending on how you blend. It's very full coverage. So a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot. But if you want full coverage, be my guest and go ahead and dab that all over your face but just look at the foundation match it matches me perfectly it's it's a beautiful shade i love this foundation and the shade match so i haven't tried this foundation as a concealer but hopefully it works yeah so i'm going to take the light shade which is number six accentoire and use that under my eyes okay so i'm taking this multi buffer brush from evita it has like two sides this side and that side i'm just going to use the rounded side to just apply this under my eyes the foundation is quite thick so i think it will work well as a highlighter What did I just put? <laughs> I just took my own shade. Let me just use this. Now I'm going to take the darkest shade, which is number three. I'm just going to take this cream contour brush, also from Evita. It's part of her Tanto collection this one is the cream contour blush what am i saying blush hey jesus christ is lord cream contour um brush and 
and then I'm going to take the same brush just to blend that out okay I feel like it will be better for me to use a sponge so I'm using Evita's nude sponge this looks so nice you know i've never tried this before i don't know why i didn't think of trying this it's so nice it's full coverage it covers everything underneath my eyes um, it's beautiful Just putting some underneath the contour just to show the contour a bit more. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my own foundation shade and then the lighter one, mix those two and use it as my lid concealer to prep for eyeshadow so i wasn't able to get my hands on any powder like a certain powder so i'm just going to use um, the Fenty powder just to set my face this looks so good I'm not shocked but I'm shocked <laughs> I'm not shocked but I'm shocked so now my eyebrows I'll be using Yoshi Cosmetics eyebrow pencil Look, it has a brush at the end and the pencil at the tip. And now I'm going to take my CVL Beauty Compact Mirror. It's so pretty. Um, just so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So Yoshi is a Ghanaian brand. CVL Beauty is a Ghanaian brand by Valerie Lawson. And Yoshik is by Marion. Uh -huh. Okay. I really like this pencil. It's one of my favorite eyebrow pencils. take the lighter concealer and then just use oh, I said concealer <laughs> the foundation so I said it's foundation and use that to clean my eyebrows looks so good I'm just going to set 
my lid space. I said lid space. My lid. Okay. Now that that is done. Ooh, I'm loving this already. Loving it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So now let's go ahead and do our eyes. I'll be using Younger Beauty. So this is the I was the name of this palette. A real, a real, a real, I think so. A real eyeshadow palette. Something just fell out of it. But yeah, these are the shades. Oh, I had to pick it up. Um, this is a smooth gel liner. It's inside, it's inside the palette. It's right inside the palette, like that. Um, yeah. So I'm going to play with Younger Beauty and this Double Tap Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It's, these are Nigerian brands, so I'll be using both. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll just be dipping in and out of each palette to create a look that I like. So I'm going to take Younger Beauty's 7 eyeshadow and just use that in my crease. I always like a warm shade in my crease, either an orange or a brown of some sort in my crease. I'm using the same shade underneath my eyes. I don't like to spend forever with my makeup, so I really go fast. Like, if not for the fact that I'm filming, I would have been done. And I'm going to take Osita Dima. Osita Dima. It's like a dark brown shade. I'm going to use that in my outer V and a little bit into my crease. It's like I'm dragging a little bit for it. Like I told you, I don't know what I'm doing, so yeah. I'm just going with the flow as the spirit leads or where the spirit leads. <laughs> And now I'm going to go in with Dabota Cosmetics. I'm going to use Sokota. And I'm going to use my finger to apply that on my on my eyes. It's like a mauve color shade. -ish, like that. There's no mirror in this, so I'm going back with my CVL Beauty so I can hold both and then see what I'm doing. Um, that's a pretty color. Just using the brush to just blend yeah and now i'm going to use younger beauty's liquid liner the sleek black liner is a felt tip yeah like that just going to use that To just create a little bit of a wig liner. Nothing big. Nothing big. 
nothing big. I'm not even taking it all the way to the inner corner, just the mid and upwards, like that, like that, just like that. I think now they are sisters. Okay, Wait, let me see. I think this one is a little bit long. I just need to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with the Epita brush and the foundation to just clean it up. That was fine. I think it's fine. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think now it's good. I just need a little bit. Just tiny little bit see I think it's good oh oh shoot okay great the the downside of using your fingers to do your makeup you touch you touch your face but yeah so now I'm just going to use this Yanka Beauty lash glue and then I'm going to pop on shades by Juliet Ibrahim. These lashes are very minimal. It's called the Horse M101 Lash. It's very natural. I love it. It's simple. It's not too much. It's not too much at all. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to take the Yanga Beauty glue and then just pop that isn't it like beautiful to see all these women um have their own brands and doing amazing it's it's so inspiring to watch to see it makes you want to do something for yourself and that's amazing i feel like we need to celebrate more african brands so if you are Ghanaian, Nigerian, Kenyan, South African, let's just put African black owned women on the map. Let's push ourselves too. Okay. If you have never used any of these products before, I would highly recommend them. Cause like, just look at my face. Just look at my face it's good it's good i know it's good so now that we are waiting for the glue to get tacky let's just enhance the skin i'm just going to use this yanga beauty lip gloss and coffee you guys know that i love to use lip gloss on my skin like that I'm using it as a glow. It's just going to give me some glow to my skin. Okay. I'm just going to take this brush here and then just, just blend that on my skin. Just, just look at that. Put on some here. Um, if you're wondering, my hair is from J Essentials. It's also a Ghanaian brand, black owned women brand. I'm just going to dab a little on my lips. Uh, I don't want my lips to be so brown. And I just use my finger. now what do i need to do i'm just going to take this evita joseph 
highlighter in Abilio. It's a pretty pink. It's pretty nice. This is very nice. I'm just going to take that and take this CVL Beauty brush. I'm just going to take that and then just highlight my skin. Body also glows. I'm going to take a little bit of the highlighter and put that on my nose just to intensify that nose highlight. Now I'm going to pop on my lashes and I will be back. I'm back. So this is the what was that? Okay, let's get back to pose it. wish up <laughs> so this is the final look yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this look I will see you in my next video so make sure to subscribe like share comments let me know if you've tried any of these products before your thoughts on the final look on the look in general and I'll see you in my next one make sure to subscribe it helps me please subscribe thank you bye follow me on Instagram I said bye but no <laughs> <laughs>